Okay team, the world has been in sweatpants for an entire year. No one knows how to wear real clothes. The world is starting to open up and it's our job to tell people what to wear. Yeah, let's see how bad we can make the clothes look. Yes, let's take the worst fashion trends from previous decades and tell them it's cool. I've got it, I've got it. Acid washed jeans. Ooh. Do you think people will go for that? Yeah, they will. Just put it front and center of the store as they walk in. Totally. Boom. It's fashion. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, um, we can make the jeans super baggy, right? And, um, and, and cuff them at the bottom too? That's hilarious. So this is basically just an 80s reboot. Yeah. Which was terrible back then and it's gonna be terrible now. Yeah. But who cares? I don't care. I don't care about anything. I'm a fashion designer. Trust our system. We've been doing this since the dawn of fashion. What was the motto we came up with in our last meeting? Come, Come up with, with something. something. Literally anything at all. Something. This is something. After all, we did get them to wear crop tops and low-waisted jeans in the 90s. I did not think that would ever stick. I mean, they couldn't sit down with other underwear hanging out. For a solid day. Decade. And those bell bottoms? We made them so long. They got all ripped up and busted under the heels of the wedges. And girls were dripping everywhere. <laughs> we called them fashionable. Good times. Moving on, I, I think we have found the most universally unflattering jeans. Yeah. Right? Right? Those are incredibly awful. Okay, they're terrible. Let's move on to dresses. Guys, we've got to go retro. How retro? Like back to the Oregon Trail retro. Like you may die of dysentery retro? Yeah. Completely shapeless. I love this. Yeah, but we need to make it in a little house in the prairie print. Amazing. And to top it off, lace, lace collar. collar. So fun. Awful dresses, check. Moving on. Tops, what do we have? I found this denim shirt cleaning out my parents' house. Perfect, let's make 20,000 of those. Check out the ruffle sleeves. <laughs> I put these in the washer with some cheap new towels. Ooh, they're like peach acid wash now. Looks good on the rack, but horrible on everyone. Yeah, those are terrible. We should make a lot of them. Let's get those into stores ASAP. How are we gonna convince them to wear these unflattering trends again? Two words, Gen Z. What's Gen Z? Z. Are you saying Z like X, Y, Z? You're doing this weird thing. Z, Gen Z, got it. Yeah, remember that side part drama? Gen Z shamed everyone to get rid of it. They're terrifying. Use them. Or we could hire the same 25 year olds we use for those wrinkle cream ads. Yeah, 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 the ones with no wrinkles. Exactly. They look good in everything. So that way, normal sized women will get really hopeful that they'll look the same way. There's no way these things are going to look good on any human woman. This job is so fun. <laughs> so fun. Love this job. So, husband. Um, what do you feel of like the the choir robe look they're going for women's fashion now? What do you think? It, You're supposed to say I look good in everything. Mm -hmm. I look, you look good in everything. Okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah, it's okay. So, um, I think what they've done now is they found, I mean, I will say this though. The new style is comfortable, right? Yes. This is a hospital. Scrub. It does. This is something you wear when you're having a colonoscopy. Hey, it. women, women, you are beautiful. You are, in spite of this, you are beautiful. <laughs> we were inspired because I walked into a store and I saw like nothing but acid washed everywhere. And I was like, do you think they're sitting in a room right now and saying, what do you think we could get them to wear? Okay, to show me an actual human woman that looks good in these, post the pictures and I will redo, we'll redo this and we'll have a fashion show. Love you, bye. Check out our merch, check out our book, check out our blog, it's at the whole dirtiest family.